Good morning. It is the beginning of January. This is 41474 Portside Drive. I am Susie Schulten with Midget Realty doing a home video of this beautiful property. We are in the subdivision of Kinnikeet Shores all the way towards the end of Portside Drive. This beautiful home is right on the sound access. Here is the sound access walkway right next to the house. Quiet area of the Kinnikeet Shores. Let's look around what well, we see. The house is currently a rental with Surfer Sound Video, Video, Surfer Sound Realty. Those are flood vents that you see that are required. Even though the home is in an X flood zone, that is a new zoning designation. So I don't think that it was when it was built. Beautiful view out to the sound there. And we do have a pool area out here, in-ground concrete pool. We'll see more of that from upstairs. Let's go over here outside shower. All of this is concrete under here. This home is in a section of Kinnikeet Shores that is a planned unit development or a PUD in real estate terms. Basically, you are the owner of the footprint. This is about a 3,000 square foot footprint of the house. And you are permitted to cover all of it with non-permeable surfaces if you choose. This is all on part of the uh, Kinnikeet Shores community septic system. So you do have a quarterly charge for septic, and then you also have an HOA membership fee. So coming in on that, up some steps, let's see, we have two options here. We can go down. This takes you to the lowest level, ground level here. And it looks like it's just entry and storage. So the elevator does come all the way down. This home is equipped with an elevator. It comes all the way down to both of the under house parking areas. So you can come in either of those directions. A little bit of storage here under the stairs. And this is, this product is just um, removable, replaceable wallboard. So if there were to be a flood, that is replaceable. So you see the elevator is on the second level right now, and that is where we like to store elevators when in the wintertime or when there is a storm possibility because then they are not damaged. So here's where the elevator comes up to this game room level. Looks like it could use an interior paint here and there, touch-ups. You have a tile floor in here. There is a bathroom. This is a full bath off of the game room. Shower stall. It also connects to an adjoining bedroom. Carpet. In the bedroom, this is a little twin room. Then there is the laundry area. A little bit of some water damage over here under this window. Window itself is vinyl. There's a big, oh, here are your hot water heaters. surprise 
There's also an ironing board. Two big hot water heaters in here. We'll slop little sink in here. There's that bedroom we just came out of. There's the game room. And then there's another kid bedroom on this floor. Uh, both the bedrooms down here have these tray type ceilings. This room has a bunch of bunks. This room faces out to the street level and also has a bathroom. And tile floor, not vinyl, it is tile. Nice shower enclosure. There is a small bit of water damage on the ceiling there. I'm guessing that is coming, had come from an upstairs bedroom. Let's get a better look at this game room. All right, so we're in the game room. Again, that is the hallway that we came up. There's that bathroom that we went through. We have a pool table in here. Beautiful view out to the sound. Decor in here is dated. Lots of nice bright light. Floor again is um, ceramic tile. Little wet bar there. That's just a closet full of filters. This room is, doesn't have very many lights in it. This is a media room. So you have a big flat screen there, a whole bunch of chairs. The requisite seems like crazy kind of movie theater carpet in these rooms. And then you've got the video equipment. And then a little note here on the door that most of the chairs do not recline due to the size of the room. All right. Then this closet. Air handler. The top section of this looks to be fairly new. And there are surround sound speakers out here and another TV out here in the game room. So, all right, let's head up the carpeted stairs to the next level. That's again, the elevator coming up. A little den type sitting area here. I'm guessing there's a TV. Yeah, very small den TV. Again, there's a view out to the water. Community property out there. That is why that is a community walkway. Again, the house only owns the footprint of the house. Deck all looks to be in decent shape. Carpet's a textured Berber. It, it doesn't look bad. Another air handler. Small linen closet. And then we have a bedroom, master bedroom here. tile floor and then into the commode area separate with just a stand-up shower in this one this one is on the sound side very nice view out to the water 
And this has a, not a sliding door, but like a French type door with only one door that opens. Then another bedroom on this level. This one is on the street side. does have access to a little balcony and you can start to see the view out over there's a pond or marshy area just on the other side there this one is also a master with the tile floor this one has a shower surround tub house needs just some more modern decor. It does have the tray ceiling in this bedroom. This is just a closet, I'm sure. Just your standard closet. Carpet in the hallway looks like it is newer than the carpet in the bedrooms, which looks to be original carpet. Most of the homes now, the owners are coming in getting rid of the carpet all right so there are the stairs we came up we went to the left first this is to the right where you have two more bedrooms street side here with access out to the balcony and another master that is definitely something that people are looking for, is to have all of these be master bedrooms. This one again, another shower enclosure. Or shower, sorry. Surround shower. And then a much bigger master in here. This one is on the sound side. That is a king size bed. Have door access here to the sound this is the same deck as two other bedroom that's the den access and then that's a bedroom access but you can see the view absolutely gorgeous and access through this window for the view as well This one is the handicapped accessible bathroom or handicap friendly. Most of our homes say handicap friendly instead of accessible because you have to be ADA compliant if you say that you are accessible. It is a really small mirror. This one has the handicap friendly shower, a roll in or walk in type shower. So far, all the bedrooms have TVs. All right, another level up. All right, now you have a hardwood type floor. Elevator coming right here. To the right, bedroom. This is on the street side, master. And you can kind of see over into that marshy area from here. You can see all the way to the ocean, but you're not getting much of a view, maybe a little bit of horizon view here and there. This is that vinyl plank looking floor. Yeah, definitely vinyl. And they have now butted it up to the master bathroom. Have a shower stall tub big soaker tub a small little water closet and then two mirrors and a nice big vanity double vanity here big closet a really nice wide plank vinyl flooring 
There is a half bath that is also handicap friendly. Nice and wide. Doesn't have the grab bars, but it is a wide entrance and just a pedestal sink. Then we go into living room, dining room, kitchen area that has an absolutely stunning view. Big vaulted ceilings. I do see some what looks like maybe damage right there from the vent of all things. Usually these high ceilings, the hot air rises, people have the windows open, opening the door in and out. The hot air goes up, it's humid. It condenses when the cold air conditioning comes out and then you get that look. So replace the vent itself with plastic, then that will reduce that. But it is something that happens. Big dining room table here. Yeah, it looks like, I'm sure, a pantry closet. And then a granite countertop in the kitchen area. Double ovens, double dishwashers, only one refrigerator, but there is one down in the game room. There's that view again over to the marshy area. Lots of light, lots of space. It almost seems like you could break up this seating area like you need more seating in here i think i think you could use another couch maybe you could even push all this forward and have a second seating area this wraps around to a wet bar with a wine fridge and well there you go there's your need for the other seating area is out here you have a second whole seating area good puzzle table They've brought the screens in because this time of year is really rough on the screens. We get a lot of wind this time of year that causes the screens to just get torn to bits. So two big seating areas up here. And that does have a pocket door. So if a bunch of people are in there playing cards and don't want to be disturbed or however, somebody's working. Let's see. Sliding door. side of the house. Really nice big heavy deck furniture. The rails are all vinyl but they feel like they have wood inside. So all of that property that you're looking at, all of that empty vacant is all community property. Again, the house only is in the footprint. There's that community walkway that goes out to the sound. You can walk all the way down that shoreline to the next community walkover right down there, or even further down to one more community walkover. So all of this property owned by the community. You do have a house right here to the right, the north side. Pools are not close, but the house is a little close there. There's really the houses on this side are either pushed forward or set back, and there's a nice buffer here. I don't know if you can see all the wildlife that is going on out here. Lots of little birds. Deck's in good shape. It's older, but it's not splintering or having issues. There's the house across the street. And I do not believe that there is any kind of a vacant space in here. I think that is the next house over. But you can see we're almost to the end of the subdivision. There's a little cul-de-sac here. You can walk a loop through here, which is really nice. You can see almost all the way to Buxton. These houses are kind of blocking it, but there's the causeway down there between Buxton and Avon. There's the roof. 
It is a five tab architectural shingle roof. They are what you are looking for out here. They do hold up really, really well. And from what I can see so far, again, not a home inspector, but the roof itself looks to be in good shape. And going down to the decks. Railings have all been really sturdy. Again, they uh, feel like the ones that have the wood in them. So the house is clad, it looks like, in hardy board. And the biggest issue with hardy board is what we're seeing at the bottom down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get where the hardy board was touching the deck or close to the deck. You get water pooling and that water pooling causes that chipping or sparring along the bottom there. You can see it all the way around here. It's ugly more than anything. It can be, you can replace that bottom board with the new product that's out, which is smart lap siding. That seems to be the thing that everybody's going to now. This door, you asked me about that. It moves. I think the track needs to be cleaned. It was hard to pull, but not, you know, it slid. It just needs to be cleaned out. This yeah, a very disorganized little closet, but nice to have for brooms and things. And then you have this, they did this a lot for this age house. Again, third or fourth different kind of carpet here. You have these weird little, this was back before Wi-Fi, so they had these little computer nooks for someone to be able to work. You can't really see much out of these windows. You can kind of see the fingerprints down the wall. So the house in general, I mean, it's ready to go. Um, there are new regulations that just went into effect for homes with elevators. A little boy was killed in an elevator a few years ago up in the Kill Devil Hills area. He got stuck between the door and the inner door. And so now you have to have special baffles on the door so that that cannot happen. Let's see, this does have a fireplace here. Yep, so this is one of those baffles. This does not allow then anyone to get stuck between the two doors. And then there's your elevator. So big enough for people, groceries, whomever could need it. They are required to have a phone with a working landline in them. But this is supposed to take up to 70 pounds of pressure and then when it closes over, you can see it would not allow anyone to get stuck in there. Walk on down one more time through the house. It's a lot of floors, it's a lot of house. This was a bedroom level, two bedrooms that way, two bedrooms that way, and the den. Lots of light, lots of windows. This was that game room level with two bedrooms that way. And then you have the media room and the game room. There's a big crack over here. Most likely it is a settlement crack, but it does run along the edge here. Let's check. Yeah, all the sliders move so far. Let's see, I'm pulling. It feels like they need to be cleaned and possibly greased. And then you can see, obviously, where people have put pool chalk and things 
gotten pool chalk on the wall. Little stuff. I haven't seen anything major that screams at me. And that is 417, 41474 Portside Drive.